Paul Lee is a Filipino professional basketball player for the Magnolia Chicken Team Plados Hotshots of the Philippine Basketball Association. Paul John Lee was born on February 14, 1989 to Edwin Lee and Helen Deliston. Due to his parents being unmarried at the time of his birth, his legal surname at birth was his mother's maiden surname, Deliston. His parents would get married on October of the following year. Lee also competed in the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup and the 2014 Asian Games but injuries caused him to get sidelined the following year. On October 13, 2016, Paul Lee was sent to Star Hot Shots on a blockbuster trade in exchange for star shooting guard James Yap in one of the biggest deals in PBA history that led to shocking reactions from basketball fans. In 2014, he requested the Rain or Shine management to trade him by personally calling up coach Ian Guao. However, Guao and the Rain or Shine management are hell-bent on keeping him at all cost. After Lee returned from Spain following his Gila stint in the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup, he went to a sabbatical by not showing up to Rain or Shine practice or even talking to the media, creating speculations of him pushing through signing up with another team. A few days later, he finally showed up and after a heart-to-heart -heart talk with coach Yang Guao, he finally decided to stay with the last two painters. On September 19, 2014, he together with his agent Lawrence Johnson signed a two-year max deal to stay with Rain or Shine. He was picked second overall by Rain or Shine during the 2011 PBA draft. In his PBA debut, Paul Lee recorded 17 points, two rebounds and four assists in 25 minutes of playing time on a 177-100 win over the Alaska Aces. The following game, Paul Lee had another strong game having recorded 17 points and 5 rebounds in 30 minutes of playing time in a 100-94 win over the B Meg Lamados. Lee was born in Tondo, Manila to a family of three children, while his paternal ancestors of Chinese roots had a history of being involved in the lumber industry since the 19th century, Lee's family did not inherit much wealth.